Hello friend, welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at how to convert media files using command prompt. With this method, you can convert both audio files and video files to another format. Make sure to watch the video to the end, because I will even be showing you how to extract audio from videos using this method. Before we start, please make sure to drop a like, and also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon, so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to share this video. Thank you. By default, Command Prompt doesn't have an option to convert media files. We will need to install a third-party software that allow us to perform these conversions. To do this, open your favorite web browser and type the URL shown on the screen, or you can click on the link in the description. On the FFmpeg website, click on Download. Scroll down and click on the Windows logo, then, click on any of the links provided below. But in this video, I will click on the second link. This will take you to a GitHub page to download the compiled FFmpeg package. Scroll down and download any of the Win64 packages. This should start downloading the necessary files. After the download is complete, navigate to the downloaded zip file. Right-click on the downloaded zip file and click on Extract to FFmpeg. If you can't see the Extract option, make sure you have WinRAR installed on your computer. After extracting the zip file, double-click on the extracted folder. Double-click on the extracted folder again. Select all the folders in the extracted folder. Now, right-click and click on Copy. After copying all the folders, navigate to your drive C. Create a new folder in Drive C, and name it FFmpeg. Now, open the newly created folder. Right-click and click on Paste, in order to paste all the FFmpeg folders you have just copied. Now, we need to add the path to the FFmpeg binary to our system. To do this, double-click on the bin folder. Click on the address bar to highlight the location of the bin folder and press Ctrl-C to copy. Now, click on the Start menu and search for Environment Variables. Click on Edit the System Environment Variables. Click on Environment Variables. In the User Variables section, look for a variable named Path and click on it. After clicking on the path variable, click on edit. This will bring you to a page where you can edit your environment variables. To add a value to your environment variable, click on new. Press Ctrl V to paste the path to the FFmpeg folder you copied, and click on OK. Now, if you don't have any variable here named path, then you can create it yourself by clicking on the new button. For the variable name, type path, and for the variable value, paste the path to the bin folder you copied, and click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK again. Now, we are done. We can start converting our videos using command prompt. Close File Explorer, and click on Start Menu, then type CMD. Now, click on Command Prompt. FFmpeg supports dozens of file formats. You can convert your videos from pretty much any format to another format of your choice. To convert any video to another format, you will first have to navigate to your video file. The file I will like to convert is in a folder on the desktop, so I will first have to navigate to the desktop. 
The video file I will like to convert is in this video folder on the desktop, so I will type CD video in order to navigate to the video file. Inside this video folder, I have a file named intro and it is an MP4 video file. To convert any video file to another format, just type ffmpeg-i, followed by the video name and extension, then followed by the new video name and extension. Type ffmpeg-i. Now, type the name of the video file with the extension you want to convert. In my case, the name of the video file and extension is intro.mp4. In command prompt, start typing the name of the video file, then press the tab key to auto-complete the name of the video file. Now, type the name you want to give to the new video, followed by the format you want to convert the video to. Since I want to convert my video to MKV format, I will type intro.mkv. Press enter to start converting your video. You can see the conversion of my video has started. Your video will be converted to the new format. This might take some time depending on the size and length of your video. Now, my video is done converting, and it has been placed in the same folder where the original video is located. You can see, I have a new video in the same folder named intro, with an MKV format. You can convert your videos to any format of your choice. You can also convert your videos from any format to any format. All you have to do is to type ffmpeg-i, then video name dot format followed by new video name dot new format. You can also convert audio files using command prompt. Just like how you convert your videos. To do that, you will need to open command prompt and navigate to the directory your audio file is located. My audio file is in this audio folder, so I will type CD audio. This is the audio file I will like to convert. I will like to convert this audio file from MP3 to WAV format. And in order to achieve this, I will go back to my command prompt and type ffmpeg-i, then audio name.mp3, which is brighter days.mp3, then new audio name.wav. After typing the commands, press enter. After the conversion is complete, you will find the converted audio file in the same folder with your original audio file. You can see, I have my converted audio file here, which is brighterdays.wav. Finally, you can also use FFmpeg to extract audio from videos. In order to achieve this, go back to your command prompt and navigate to the folder of the video file you want to extract the audio from. To extract audio from videos, type ffmpeg-i followed by the video name, minus vn followed by the audio name. In my case, the video I will like to extract the audio file from is called intro.mp4, and it is located in my videos folder on the desktop. So, I will type ffmpeg-i intro.mp4-vn, then the name you want to give to the audio file, and the format you want your audio file in which is my intro.mp3 in my case. After FFmpeg is done extracting the audio from the video, the extracted audio file will be placed in the same folder with your original video. You can see, I have my audio file here which is my intro.mp3.
podcast. You can see, the audio has been extracted from the video file, and the MP3 audio file is the same as the video's audio. So, that is how you convert media files using command prompt on Windows. Thanks for watching. Please, make sure to drop a like, and also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to share this video. Thank you.